What's going on, my good people? It's your boy DK Drama Bird Gang Sports. You already know what we here for. You know what we came to do. We got a lot to discuss. Simple and plain. What's going on, my good people? <laughs> what's, what's happening out there in the world? I'm out here on this rainy day, man. Waiting on my daughter, you know, to get out of cheerleading practice. I'm about to pick her up off the bus. We're going to be headed back to the home real, real soon, man. But you know, we getting real close on draft time. That's I, I, I really want to, you know, express myself in the way that I'm feeling about, you know, how close it's getting to the draft. I find myself, like, diving deeper and, and deeper into, you know, watching other people's YouTube on the draft or especially the Eagles country creator. Shout out to all of y'all too, man. Like, even when I'm not doing nothing on here, Y'all keep me going. Like, y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me in tune a lot more, if I may say so. A lot more than the talking heads we see on TV. Because I feel like people that's like me, I think it's it's almost equal. I, like, I think, like, Max Kellerman and, and the guys like Stephen A and stuff, they would look at us as our opinion. Is it... uh it's not validated as much as their opinion would be just because they are who they are and they're on the platform that they're on. It's just as much as I think that, you know, the opinions of people who are just like me and you guys, you know, I feel like their opinions matter because it's coming from us, the the, the fans, you know, these opinions are coming from the fans. Of course, some of the opinions are going to be biased. Of course, you know, the, that's uh, natural that some of the opinions are just going to be biased and that's just what it is. But I just like the, the content that people bring and, and what y'all bring to the table, man. I really love it. Shout out to uh, Philly 500 and Lord Bronson. What y'all doing right now? Like the back and forth thing. Love it, man. Like it don't get no better and it's only going to get better. Like it's, it, 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 I know I said that, that don't even make sense. It don't get no better, but it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. It's still great right now. What y'all doing? But I know y'all gonna be coming with it. The deeper y'all get into it, like the reps and stuff, like I know y'all gonna come with it. Like I like it, man. I like it. It's uh, it's very interesting. Like it's very interesting to see what both of you gotta say and what y'all think about certain moves and situations that's going on before the draft gets here. And to see it all on one channel was just that's just. I mean, could we ask for more? Could we ask for more? I don't think so. But I'm just here to really like, you know, express the fact that, you know, due to what I've seen my quarterback do this year, because i seen Mark Holmes in his video talking about Dak Prescott and how Carson Wentz is not better and blah, 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 and Dak did this and Dak did that. But Dak did, what, 4,900-some passing yards this year with all his weapons, all of his weapons, every last one of them. No Zeke out for suspension, no nothing, and didn't make the playoffs. Uh, I seen Carson Wentz do 4,000-some passes this year with the first, second, and third um, uh, wide receiver out. Did we not see that? Did we uh, – everybody want to say, hey, man, Carson Wentz had this and he had this. He really did it. He really proved to a lot of people that, you know, do you think uh, Nick Foles could do – what Carson did. If you put it, if you put Foles in the same shoes as Carson Wentz last season, do you think he could have did that? I honestly don't think. I don't see where people are saying that it could have been done. Because now, if you look at it like this, if you look at all the weapons uh, Nick Foles had in those runs, those two years, he had all of the weapons. He had all of the weapons. And if you don't know. Alshon Jeffrey hasn't been the same since that last game with Nick Foles out there when he dropped that pass. It just wasn't the same anymore. It just wasn't. It is what it is, man. It left a sour taste in his mouth, and he's still sour because there's a lot of funny stuff going on behind the, uh, behind the scenes that it's kind of hard to get to the bottom of it. I don't know if somebody, he got a target on his back because at this point, anybody could say, any kind of rumor about Alshon, and it's going to be believable. Like, we're going to believe it. We're going to instantly say, damn it, he said it. He got to go. He got to go. So it's so hard to say whether Alshon is doing all the talking there 
But forget all of that. We're talking about Nick Foles and Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott. I don't see Dak Prescott even winning the division next year. Like, I know that nobody went back-to-back. I know that y'all don't have to comment and say none of that. I know nobody went back-to-back in a while. Well, since we did it. Nobody did that since we did it in our division. I really do feel like if you give this guy some pieces, because he showed us he can stay healthy enough, you know, concussion, whatever. I mean, y'all go run into it. Whoever says he injury prone because of the concussion, you go run into a wall and let me see if you not going to have a concussion. You just go run into a wall. And, you know, walls are, are hollow. Uh, they're not brick walls. I'm talking about just a regular old wall, plain Jane. Just run through it. Just try to run through it head first. Now, this man hit the ground. He hit the ground. Not only was he falling, the guy sped up the force of him landing, his head landing on the ground. And it, it bounced. you could see it bounce off of the ground. I mean, anybody would be hurt off of that, man. I mean, that's just... We human. These dudes not superhuman. Now you might think some of them are superhuman because certain certain abilities and their size and, and speed and stuff like that. But we all humans at the end of the day, man. It's going to happen like that sometimes. But it is what it is, man. I just think that I seen Mark Holmes' video and I didn't like the fact that he was just bashing my quarterback. He was just bashing Carson, man. He was just bashing Carson, and I don't see, I really, truly don't see. Because I, put it like this. If you gave me Jason Garrett, right? If you gave me Jason Garrett, just think about this, y'all. Y'all gotta, you have to sit back and really, really think about this. If you gave me Jason Garrett and the rest of that staff, and then take away Dak Prescott, you take away Dak Prescott, but you give me everybody else on that team and you put Carson Wentz in, I think Carson Wentz take those dudes all the way. Let's be honest, man. Just like I think if you take Dak Prescott out of the equation and put Tom Brady in there, I think the Cowboys break that break that uh, losing streak and they do a little something. But if you keep Dak, it's just going to be bad, man. It's like, it's just going to be bad. Now, he threw... All those yards. And a lot of those yards was in garbage time, like playing catch up. Playing catch up. It wasn't like he threw all these yards and he was dominating teams throughout the season. No. He was throwing these yards to make the the loss look okay, a decent loss. It wasn't like he was trying to come back and win. No, we need to throw this ball all the way down the field to you know, take away some of those points that these guys is ahead of us because they're so far ahead. We're just trying to make it look like a decent loss, not a blowout loss, you know. But I just feel like Carson Wentz, if you put him on that team, same roster, same running back, uh, uh, same backup running back, same uh, receivers and tight ends, I think he do something. I think he do not only uh, throw for that much, I think he actually wins something. You know, I think he does something. But that's just me. That's just me. In my opinion, like I said, I'm regular. I'm a regular person like the rest of y'all. That's just me and my opinion. And yeah, man. Y'all let me know, though. If you're new here, subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. But let me know in the comments what y'all think about everything I just said. And, and if you haven't checked out Mark Holmes' video, shout out to Mark Holmes, too, because I don't have a problem with him. But I do got a problem when he start talking about my quarterback. You better make sure those facts are right when you talk about my quarterback. But other than that, that's it, man. This your boy DK Drama, Bird Gang Sports, and we out.